Simple Model to Finishing Model The series of guides will popularize the functional under simple models. The left mouse button can rotate the view, while the right mouse button can move the view. The mouse middle button scroll can zoom the view. If you need to adjust to the front-facing view, please refer to the above table. Clicking the plus icon in the top toolbar allows you to add model files, with the shortcut key being Ctrl plus L. After selecting a model file, you can click the minus icon to delete the selected model. You can directly press Delete to delete it. If you need to delete all models on the printing platform, you can also directly click the Delete All icon, with the shortcut key being Ctrl plus Delete. When there are too many models and it is not convenient to print, we can click the Arrange icon or press the shortcut key, A, to quickly organize all models on the print platform. You can also right-click on the icon to adjust the minimum spacing between models when automatically organizing them. Copy the model to the search function after left-clicking and selecting a model, the model will turn green. At this point, we can copy the selected model, or press the shortcut key, Ctrl plus C. Then paste the copied model, or press the shortcut key, Ctrl plus V. After the second paste, the new model will be placed in the same position by default, so you need to move it manually. In some cases, the model file used may have several associated subfiles. We can use the split into objects function to separate them and adjust their position separately. Note that after the splitting is completed, the models are still in the selected state. And we need to click once in the blank area of the view and then click one of the models to operate it separately. If you need to find certain settings, you can use the search function. With the shortcut key being Ctrl plus F. After finishing the editing, we go back to the Build Plate view. Variable Height, Variable Layer Height. This setting is somewhat similar to Cura's Adaptive Layer Height function, which can adjust the printing layer thickness based on the actual appearance of the model, in order to achieve a balance between printing quality and speed. Before introducing this functional module, we need to first introduce the concept of layer height. Layer height refers to the thickness of each layer printed, which directly affects the appearance and printing quality of the model. In theory, the smaller the layer height, the finer the appearance of the model. The appearance difference when printing with different layer heights is shown in the following figure. However, when the model has few inclined surfaces, reducing the layer height has limited improvement on the appearance. For example, when we print a cube, Using a smaller layer height will only increase the printing time. Is there a way to reduce layer height when the model requires fine printing? And increase layer height in simple areas of the model for better printing speed? That is the function, variable layer height, that we are going to introduce next. By adjusting the quality, speed, slider, you can control the bias of variable layer height. The further to the left the slider is. The slicing software will automatically lower the layer height to improve print quality, but the print time will be longer. Conversely, the further to the right the slider is, the layer height will increase during slicing, resulting in shorter print times. Once you have made the necessary adjustments according to your specific requirements, click Adaptive to apply this setting. Radius, which refers to the radius of the layer height variation curve on the right side after clicking, Apply. The blue line represents the actual layer height of each layer, and this setting is generally not modified by default. After checking, keep min, the part with the lowest layer height will no longer be affected by clicking, smooth. This is helpful to lock in the finest details of the model before adjusting the layer height of other parts. Reset, return to the state when entering this interface. How should we handle if we need to manually edit layer heights? After clicking, adaptive layers, you can place the mouse cursor over the layer height bar. At this point, a light yellow range will be displayed, which corresponds to the position of the model and layer height bar. Mouse middle button scroll controls the adjustment area. When the mouse hovers over the layer height bar, the current layer height will be displayed, and the black vertical line represents the set standard layer height. Left-clicking with the mouse can reduce the layer height of the controlled area, while right-clicking can increase it. Shift plus left clicking can move the layer height closer to the standard layer height. Shift plus right clicking can smooth out the layer height curve. Most of the time, we only need to click Adaptive under the Variable Layer Height module. Undo and do. Undo shortcut Ctrl plus C cancels the previous operation. Redo. Shortcut key Ctrl plus Y 
Read performs the operation that was undone with the Control plus C shortcut key. Left toolbar. Next, we will demonstrate the tools on the left toolbar. Move, shortcut key, M. It can be used when a model is selected. Left click the model that needs to be moved again. And then drag it to the desired position. Scale, dragging the red, green, and blue cubes can enlarge or reduce the model in different axes. Dragging the orange cube scales the model proportionally. To make precise adjustments, you can directly input values in the right-hand window. If you cannot find the window, it may be hidden. Make sure the model is selected, highlighted in green, and then click the double arrow symbol to show the window. Rotation, shortcut key, R. It can be used when a model is selected. Click again and hold the rotation handle to rotate the model. Place on face, shortcut key, F. It can be used when a model is selected. After clicking, a white surface will appear on the model's appearance. Click on the white surface to make it adhere to the printing platform at the bottom. Cutting, shortcut key, C. It can be used when a model is selected. A white surface will be displayed on the model. It can only be cut in the Z direction. You can drag the orange block to adjust the height or directly input specific values. Finally, click Execute Cut to complete the segmentation. If unchecked, the Keep Top and Keep Bottom options will disappear after cutting. Rotate Bottom Up after checking the box. The cut surface of the lower half of the model will be aligned with the printing platform after being cut. If not checked, the model will not be inverted. Choose whether to enable it according to your actual needs. Next, we will introduce several parameters that may need to be frequently adjusted during use and provide additional explanations. Support added. Viewing the model from the upper right angle can help you identify parts of the model with steep overhangs, which may require support structures to prevent collapse during the printing process. Support, none, which means not enabling supports and the model will be printed normally. Support on build plate only, which means the support structures will only generate on the build platform as needed. Everywhere, meaning supports will be generated wherever the slicing software determines they are needed. Generating too many supports can negatively impact the quality of the printed model's appearance, so the support generation method should be chosen according to the actual model. Generally speaking, structures that are suspended in mid-air should have supports covering them. Padding and edge filling density refers to the amount of infill material that is used to fill the inside of a 3D printed object. It is usually adjusted between 5% to 45% based on the desired strength and weight of the printed object. If there are no specific requirements, the default setting can be used. Brim, when enabled, will print several extra layers of material on the first layer of the model to improve adhesion to the print bed. It is recommended to enable this option. If you use filament other than PLA, it is recommended that you also read the following sections about layer height, temperature, and fan settings. Basic parameter setting, we will switch the window to print settings. Layer height, as mentioned earlier, is typically set to 0.1, 0.2, or 0.3 mm, and we won't repeat the details here. We switch the window to filament settings to filament. Under the temperature section, there are settings for the nozzle and bed temperature. It is recommended to adjust the temperature based on the recommended temperature for the filament being used. Next is cooling, generally, when printing PLA filament. It is recommended to check, keep fan always on, while for materials like abs that require a higher ambient temperature, it is recommended to turn it off. If you are not sure about the characteristics of the filament you are using, it is recommended to consult with the filament seller. Once you have understood the basic functions, we will now demonstrate the basic usage process. Full process demonstration and after finishing the settings, we can click on the icon in the lower left corner or slice now in the lower right corner to start slicing. After slicing, the window in the bottom right corner will display information such as the estimated length and weight of the filament used, as well as the estimated printing time. Click Export G-Code to save the sliced file to your memory card or folder. Please use English or numeric characters for naming the sliced file and avoid using special characters. Once you save the sliced file in your printer's memory card, you can insert the memory card into the card slot of the leveled printer. Click Print, and, after confirming that the first layer is printed correctly, you can wait for the model to complete printing. 